Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez. And today we're going to be doing a reading, an all signs reading, all about your mess. Sorry, a message from your ancestors. I have not done this one, I don't think. Anyway, um, I've been getting messages lately. It's been real nice. Um, so I decided to do this one. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. I also want to give you all a reminder. I do have services open. I have a new plating healing and Akasha Karma Clearing stands out for you. Um, readings I do on Sundays as well. I, I email stands out. Yeah, I think that's it. I forgot what else I offer. Um, I am looking for new guests for my podcast. Um, if you are interested in that, do check it out. And I think that's it. Oh, I don't think there's anything else. I just want to say hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sarita. I do appreciate it. Um, nice to see a friendly face. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's get started on this. So we're going to go, you know, how I like to just go at it. We're going to go to Aries to Pisces. Okay. Um, hi, Sydney. All right. Today is that day, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Um, let's take a look here. So we're on Aries. So Metatron, Kwani St. Germain, can you help me connect to the ancestors of each of the signs to get a message from them this day? Um, I ask to be protected and kept safe and grounded. Thank you. Thank you for all the work that you do, the tireless work that you do. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, let's start with you, Aries. So let's look at your message from your ancestors. All right, the very first one is going to be, there is a lot of wisdom that your ancestors could be giving you now. Um, and this isn't just an, not the bad advice that we get from our living family members that are constantly telling us to do one thing instead of the other. Um, I mean, like real good guidance, like real good wisdom from people, from someone who sees it from a higher perspective. And that's actually who's coming forward is someone who sees things from a higher perspective and knows that you could be drawing on this wisdom, on this love that you're not drawing on. You could be um, utilizing it and applying it to your life so that you can make way in terms of your goals or ambitions that you have. It feels like as aspirations is the word that comes to my mind. Um, you could be drawing on that and you're not. And your ancestors want you to give it as your very first message is that you should be calling them in. Um, you really should. It will be from this life and all lifetimes. Whoever um, whoever uh, is in the light will come in. Um, but we have the dragon here. Interesting. One of the things that your ancestors will love to help you with is figuring out who you are. And this is a big one for a lot of people because who you are directly applies to your purpose. Um I remember when I was created, I was created for a very specific purpose of like collaboration and working together. Yeah. So I know that that means everything. And uh, your ancestors will love to help you understand why you were created, right? Um, your purpose. And they will love to help you move in that direction. Also feel guidance and support in doing so. With the elephant here, it is interesting. It's a combination of, well, they've done it first. They can help you. Also, you're meant to do it first so that you can help your family, which actually came out earlier. Um, your ancestors want you to know as well with the butterfly on the table um, that you are going through metamorphosis. And they would love to help you with that metamorphosis. They would love to help you um, move in that, um, sorry, move in the right direction as well. But the elephant's very interesting. Um, you could have a headstrong energy or... Um, hmm. Uh, you, you may be very reluctant to take their guidance. Um, it, know that it's coming in the best loving way. Sometimes we hear things that we're not meant to go after, but it helps us think, right? So never, huh? if you if it piques your interest, it's meant to be there, all right? So let's look at here. So let's take a look. What is, um, why do the ancestors want to give this message? We have Breathe coming forward for you. Um, and we also have, but I want to say hi to everyone. Uh, we have Breathe and we have New Life. Um, I am seeing a new era, new life for you. Um, but it does require you to take a step back. It does require you to like hmm, to give yourself a moment, right? Give yourself reprieve, um, and you will start to move into a new direction, into a new life. I feel here purpose comes to my mind. Um, something that you feel is is for you, why you came here. Um, I feel like they want to move you in that direction, and what direction that they are actually very excited to help with as well. Um, I can see that there's times when you are having trouble. I want to say calming the thoughts, right? Um, getting control of your mind, writing it in. And your ancestors will love to help you with that. The reason why you have all these conflicting thoughts or these um, memories coming to you um, with the uh, chaos and conflict is 
you're not seeing everything and they can help you with that. And that's actually why they want to come in, right? They want to help you see what you're not seeing. So let's see. Um, is there any guidance that the ancestors have right now? We have dive, uh, deep diver diving into a task. Whenever these thoughts come up, come up, these memories for me, those flashes, right? Flashes come in. Um, tackle them head on and just keep going. Uh, Will of the West treasures in the shadows. It's very clear that there's a lot of information that you're not privy to, right? Because you're not doing this. Your ancestors will love to help you with that to help you seek, um, help you see as well what you're not seeing. I do recommend uh, calling in the Deity Thoth and using the Lantern to help you see what you're missing. We also have Dream Thief, Refusal of the Call. Um, this is all about purpose. It's very funny. Um, hmm. I can see that you're struggling to move towards your purpose or your ancestors see that. That's who says it. All right. They want to help with this. And they see no reason why you shouldn't be pursuing your purpose. No reason why you shouldn't be going after what is meant for you and what's going to bring you the most fulfillment. And that is why their message is their message is to contact them, connect with them. And um, if you don't like it, you can go to someone else, I guess. But um, know that you can always draw on that wisdom. Um, you can channel a really good thing to do. And this is coming through is actually ask a message from your ancestors to be the message you receive with tarot and you will get that message. So, um, know that it's easy to access, um, that their wisdom. It's easy to access their energy. It's easy to get that higher perspective and remember they've been through it. All right. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Aries, don't forget to like and comment. And we're at 634 Taurus. Hi, everyone. All righty, so let's take a look here. We're at Taurus, uh, Taurus's reading. So can you tell me, um, what is a message from Taurus's ancestors this day? Let's see. The very first one we have, truth be told. Um, interesting. I feel someone told you something real nasty. Someone told you something very triggering. And it felt so real to, uh, to you that you honestly took it in as its truth. Um, let's say they told you you're not great, or let's say they said that you're not attractive, or um, I don't know, right? Maybe they just gave you a nasty look or something, but it somehow struck home. It somehow hit a very specific trigger, and it's making you feel like maybe that person is right, all right? Um, that's what's coming through from your ancestors. Let's see. What do the ancestors of a Taurus want to say this day? We have a higher power, mm -hmm. and then we also have a new life. It's funny. It's going to be the theme today for the ancestors. Um, we also have time for a nap. I am seeing a need for you to uh, kind of give that issue to a higher power. I... Um, I would always work with being delight, but you can do it for anyone you feel drawn to, called to. Um, it kind of feels like one of those situations where um, uh, you've seen the movies or if someone's praying and they want to give their problem to God, right? It feels like that. Um, and, and whatever yours is, though, I, um, yeah, sorry, I want to make sure I get that correct. Um, uh, just whoever your higher power is. Uh, with the higher power on the board, though, I can definitely see a need for you to put that problem or give that problem to them. Um, I do recommend guides or your higher self. Those seem to be the two that stick out the most, but they're not the only ones. It's whoever you, rings first. So it could be your mom who passed or um, it could be someone like in, like uh, another family member, someone who's helped you out that, you know, you know that can take this problem from, from you. And it feels like energetically to remove that block so that you can be free of it, even if it's just for a week or a day. Um, this is the kind of thing that would really help remove that. And it feels like it's a voice or uh, a message or something that was said to you that just it hurts. It hurt too much, um, too much to let go um, of it. And this is why you need to give it to someone for now. I um, I uh, remember when I had a lot to heal, a lot of the beans of light took some of my problems from me, actually almost all of them. And they left me one or two and let me deal with it. I think you need something like that. That's the experience that they're um, they're bringing forward. With the new life on the board, I am seeing it preventing you from a new path, a new life. Let's see why this is your message. So let's see, for Taurus, why is this the message that you're giving to Taurus to stay? All righty, so we have Unmarked Trail Revelation. It does feel like there is a new path for you path for you that's going to be very productive um this weight of whatever these words that were used on you um it felt like it worked um you can let go of that even if it's part of your future like you have to heal it this is why you give it to someone um a higher power wh whoever yours is right um we have spirit of the river movement towards adventure i am seeing beans of light beans on uh, the ones to stand out or your ancestors that's actually who we have as your message those are the two i would use personally um because my ancestors take a lot for me if i need it um 
I'm going to leave it like that. It just, it feels like I have to really make sure I specify that. All right. Um, we have spirit of the river movement towards adventure. This is that new life um, that you're meant to have. It does feel like you're meant to go into this new life without any baggage. Um, and that's why they want you to start to let go of this. Right. And it will come back because you're meant to deal with it. So it's no big deal. Right. It really isn't a big deal, but know that it will return. It will come back when you are ready to deal with it. So it's, kind of giving yourself a break. Um, uh, that's what your ancestors want to want you to do, right? With the crossing and the initiation, I am seeing a new um a new path, but it does require you to make that first uh that first step. And the first step is you wanting to be free of it, even if it is for a short period of time, all right? So we're going to look at um what the guidance is for Taurus. Let's see. Hmm. I'm actually really close to that. We have Vulture. Never let a situation go to waste. And that is probably one of the best messages you can receive, um, for, especially for that. I know it's crazy to think that hearing that from someone, having someone tell you that, or having an experience that made you feel that way, uh, it's very crazy to see it as a benefit, but you will use that. You will <laughs> sew it right into your story and use that as, a, honestly, a launching point, catapult, right? We have Fish here. This is the direction life has taken you. With the hawk, this is all about that news. Um, I always had a different energy towards these messages that you sometimes get from people. And that was, I don't know. Um, I guess it depended on what I received. But I knew I was not nothing. And I knew I... Um, I knew I was loved and um, cared for. And I feel like this is one of the messages that you're meant to pull from this experience. Um, lean on actually is a good way to, in your ancestors want a state for you. Um, lean on is a really good way for that. This is meant to wake something up inside of you, you know, our darker side. And our dark side actually gets us there a lot of the times. Um, you have a fierceness to you that I feel this message, this, uh, hmm, um, this truth, right? And it feels like it was a truth that you received was meant to ignite something in you, was not meant to put out a fire. All right. So I'm gonna leave it like that. That's your message from your ancestors. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're at 1212 for I see 1211. It would be it for Gemini. And I want to thank you all for being here. Okay, let's see. All righty. So let's take a look here for Gemini. So, Mediterranean Aquinas and Jimmy, can you upground me one more time? Let's see for Gemini. Uh, what is the message coming from Gemini's ancestors? I am seeing quite a few ancestors stepping forward for you this day. Um, I don't know if you're experiencing what you're experiencing, but their message from you for you is that they've dealt with it as well, right? So let's see what this is referring to. We had wolf, woodwives adaptability. I am seeing a need for you to access your ancestors that have spent a lot of time in nature. Um, if you feel connected to druid energy, that will be a good help for you as well. I can see druid energy or or, or nymphs, nymphs, nymphs as well. Uh, we have the perfect storm. I am seeing you being hit by something pretty big um, that it knocked you off your center. It it, um, it was very triggering, I guess, or it, it felt like it came out of left field. With the repairing the veil forgiveness, I am seeing a need for you to... Um, Kind of remind yourself, this is an odd message, and I forgot I read this a long time ago with the Repairing the Veil. Repairing the Veil, we often hurt people unintentionally and unknowingly, and it honestly holds us back a little bit. You may want to... Um, you may want to take a look at any memories or that may come up, even if there are pleasant or even if they don't seem like they stand out to you as some, like an experience that you got hurt by or someone else got hurt by. And just give that a look. It's not exactly what I'm receiving. Like your message from your answer is very clear. Um, they had to adapt just like you did and they did. And you will actually do the same when it comes to, I want to say something, um, some kind of tower moment. Right, uh, a moment that just that knocked everything down for you, and it feels like it's been very hard for you to get back up. Right, so the, yeah, um, your ancestors also want you to know that it takes true courage to step out. Right, with the happy, happy here, I am seeing a happy future for you. It 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 does kind of require you to move out of the energies that you're in, and I know that you know that because you're not in the best energy. Right, you're not feeling the greatest. And that's actually okay. Um, but you know that you want to move out of that. And when that time comes, when you're ready, you're going to move towards something that makes you happy and something that makes you very fulfilled. Uh, with the Unfinished Symphony, this is bringing up what I feel you have to deal with, um, to do with stuff that's been unhealed or stuff that's been, hmm. 
stuff that you like uh, experiences or maybe things that you've told people that have hurt them and vice versa that you're gonna have to go back to one of the best things that i've done is work with the higher self to actually call on who that is and start giving out that forgiveness and saying it i may do a transmission for that i'm gonna i, I actually gonna i'm really giving that to some dogs i feel like i need it um Anyway, but a forgiveness, uh, you know, give me forgiveness, receiving it. This is going to help you wrap up all these things that are holding you back a little bit. With the yang here, um, your answers is what you know it's time for you to start taking action um, and start moving in the, no, not the right direction, but in a different direction now, all right? I would use, right, um, uh, I would use your your angels, ancestor, guide your spiritual team to help you with that, to help you move in the right direction, Yeah. I see your dragon stepping forward as the one that wants to help the most, but it's not the only one. Um, I swear I want to say it's like a fairy or a grandmother. It, it feels like that. It feels just like that, like that energy. I hope that makes sense. Like, you know, uh, I, I don't have a name. I can see the characters popping up in my mind, but it's very much that energy. You know you can trust them. You know they have your best interests at heart. It's time for you to connect to them. All right. Your guidance right now is a nightingale. And the frog, um, it does feel like talking out loud or talking to yourself or even um, um, or or even expressing yourself. It's going to help you understand what you need to cleanse um, with the moth here. I'm going to leave it like that. The moth, it, it feels very much uh, linked to not rushing this process and kind of taking your time. Um, I am seeing a link to Taurus's reading very strongly, by the way. I, I felt it at the start, but I'm seeing a very strong link to Taurus's uh, reading, if you're interested in that. But the moth here, hmm. it's all about not pushing, um, huh, uh, not rushing and then getting burned. I feel it's a time for you to take maybe slower um, methodical steps than rushing. Um, we can only do life one step at a time. So it really it really does help when you have that in mind. Um, is there anyone that helps the great divine director steps forward to help you, Gemini, to stay? If you're interested in that, making sure that you stay on the step-by-step -step process towards, I want to say, the light or the ascension. It just feels like that one, all right? So I'll leave it like that. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're now on Gem uh, no Cancer. So we're at 17.30 Gemini. See. All righty. So let's take a look here. Can I get a message from, oops, I have to Gemini again, a yeah, Cancer. Um, a message from Cancer's ancestors. Metro Queen, can you make you help me connect to Cancer's, God, uh, Cancer's ancestors to stay? A message from Cancer's ancestors. Let's take a look here. So see so we have the sun coming out this is very interesting i feel cancer you're in this in between trying to understand what truly makes you happy and what is your everything you're looking for this experience you're looking to um you're looking uh to make sure that you end up on the right path that you end up at the right destination and that you head in the right um hmm you're taking the right callings, right? You're taking the right uh, guidance. You're looking for complete happiness that that is everything that is not settling in any way, shape, or form. And you're not quite sure what path is the right path that leads you there. I have some news for you, Cancer, because it's the truth. Um, it often never looks like the path. I remember when I first started doing tarot, um, it did not look like the path that I would be walking um, now or the one I'm walking now, but sure, lo and behold, it is. And um, I would not base the past based on how it looks, right? Um, trust the guidance that you're being given. Um, uh, trust the guidance from your ancestors. They would like to help you with this, but they are referring to your guides right now as the one of the best ones. You must be very connected. Um, but this is what you're looking for. You want to be happy. You want to be 10 out of 10 happy. And that's what you're looking for. And you just haven't quite figured out. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Uh, we have the 10 out of 10. I can feel it. The 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. You're looking for that, that leap. Um, but it's not going to look like that right away. It will look, you will just know it that to be the path before you start it. All right. Let me see what feeling. You should just know in your heart. That's how I knew. Um, I was very sure about that, right? We have beloved radical acceptance. Um, 
One of the best things that your ancestors do is opening up your heart fully, but also understanding that your heart is more complex than just one thing. A really good example for this, and I swear I'm not anti-love at time. I swear I'm not. But it's a lot of people, especially when I was younger, I did the same, where you think romance, right? Our, our romantic connection is the most amount of fulfillment you can get. It is not, right? This is the Ascension Timeline's purpose. But I remember thinking that for a long time. And I feel like you're in that a little bit where you're having to open yourself up to what uh, what is really my fulfillment? It's purpose, right? Uh, we have the dual web connectivity. They will love to connect with you more, but connecting to your guides is key, all right? With the book, the sorry, with the Sky Dancer Surrender, I am seeing hmm, the path that you're that's going to be presented to you not looking that great. It doesn't look like it has everything or it doesn't look like it will um it will evolve it's like um everything you know you start to evolve get better at it and you start to add new additions to everything and this is what you're going to do for this path so it doesn't look like the 10 out of 10 yet but it will you will create it that's the point you create that yeah you're going to create that 10 out of 10 right so we have stingray this is a path right um that you slowly build on until you are strong enough to stand on your own two feet so i'm seeing that on and the otter this is what you're in search of we have cobra it's interesting it feels like you have to be in some ways taught or guided um to get to that happiness um again this is why they're bringing up your guides they would like you to contact your guides um utilizing that connection uh the higher self will help as well but it, your guides are the key one right oh uh, so we have hyena and mouse interesting a part of you feels very pessimistic, like you don't believe you'll get it and you're going to struggle to get it. So I will leave it like that. Know that it is possible. It doesn't look exactly like 10 out of 10 yet, but you will know in your heart that is the path. All right. So I'll leave it like that for you, Cancer. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're moving on to Leo. All righty. So we're now on Leo's reading. Hmm. Oopsie. I just want to make sure. I think it's this. Okay. Um, let's take a look here for Leo. So can I get a message from Leo's ancestors? A message from Leo's ancestors to stay. What is your message from Leo's ancestors? Uh, all righties. A message from Leo's ancestors. So we have the Knight of Cups coming out with the Ace of Cups on the board. I feel here, um, Leo, that you are currently healing yourself because you're you're getting yourself ready for a romantic connection. It does feel like you want to leave all the past patterns, all the past karmic cycles, and honestly, all the past people that you've dated in the past and out of your life. It feels like you're trying to detox yourself. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to free yourself of everything. I do recommend a cord cutting ritual for you. I use Archangel Michael as the as the, one of the best ones to remove cords. Um, you're going to place a dome, no, not a dome, um, a sphere on your eighth chakra and your earth star. And then you're going to move the cords to the sphere with Archangel Michael's help and then plug them into source. That is the best one you can do to remove these cords. But I can see you truly wanting to leave all of it in the past. You may be thinking about moving. Um, you may be thinking about getting out of town or um, honestly, even getting a new friend group. Like you're looking to change your life. And I can see with the Knight of Cups here, um, you're also looking to heal. You want to be ready for when that I don't know, a person comes along or um, that situation uh, comes along, you want to be ready for it. And that is what you're moving towards. Even if you don't consciously know, that's why you're healing. Even if you don't consciously know, that's why you are um, uh, cutting things out of your life. This You're doing this because you know you need to. With the Ace of Pentacles here and the Knight of, of Wands, you've held yourself back far too long and you're looking to move forward. Um, I see a uh, very ambitious very hasty Leo, um, Leo <laughs> energy moving through their life. And you're going to move towards some big things. I do feel it's going to require you to, you to let go of all that doesn't serve you. And that is a tricky one. Um, that will require those friends that we need to let go of that don't serve us, right? That requires even family members that are no longer in alignment with our divine self-expression. It requires all of that. And you're willing to make that sacrifice. Why? Because you love you. And this is the energy you're moving in into self-love. All right. Um, let's see. So can you tell me um, a message from Leo's ancestors? Why is this their message for Leo? 
Mm. You're going to be breaking some real serious karmic patterns, ancestral patterns, and lineage issues that you have with the beloved radical acceptance. You've accepted that um, you you're worth more than them or uh, than the things in your life. For some of you, this feels like it's career that you're moving out of. Um, fortunes wheel, luck, and right timing. You feel it in your heart and your soul that you need to do this. You don't know what you're going towards, but I can tell you, you're going towards a beautiful. This is romantic. I feel very romantic. Um, it could even be platonic, but it's it's a very strong um, romantic connection coming into your life that is going to inspire you. But it requires a great deal of sacrifice. That's what it feels like, right? With the Watchers Transpersonal, I can see that you are, even if you're not, you don't know, your higher self is connected to you and is helping you move in this right direction, in the direction in which you want to move in. Uh, sorry, move in that's happy. And it feels like it's a person. Can I get a clarifier what that is? It's calmness, peace, uh, just a better life, lighter life that comes to my mind. Um, hmm. I see you being more confident in the future, but um, you're more confident in cutting things out of your life that need to be cut out. That's the big deal. That's what it's all about right now. So let's see. So um, Metatron, can you tell me what the ancestors want to say to Leo or any guidance that the ancestors have? It's going to actually come from Metatron. I already think about it. Yeah. Uh, we have Between Worlds. Yeah, I can see a need for you to release everything. You, there's no half measure here. Cut everyone out. I highly recommend if you feel like you have contracts and stuff that are maybe null and void, um, you may want to um, call an Archangel Sandafan to help you release yourself from that. Um, that one's a key one for you. I had to do that recently. Some people just got to go, right? We have serendipity coming through as well. You know that life is about to get better and you want to be ready for that. No big deal there, but uh, cut the cords. Um, start removing those uh, contracts that are holding you, even those agreements and oaths that we placed from the past. Um, again, Archangel Sandafan. I'm going to actually put his name. Um, he's the one that I always call. I would think it's like that. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That's the one I would recommend. All right. I'm going to leave it like that for you, Leo. Yeah. And we're now going to move to Virgo. Okay. Um, I thank you, Leo. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're at 27 minutes, please, for Virgo. Okay. Hmm. All right, so can we get Virgo's, um, a, a message from Virgo's ancestors to stay? I see here, Virgo, you're in one of those periods where maybe crying, uh, maybe sad, you may be a little down. Um, it's one of those periods when we kind of are releasing the old, in some ways linked to Leo's reading, so I will say that. It, it, it's some ways like that, but it's not just that. You are thinking about what's next, and you are, you know when you... Um, find strengths when you didn't think there was any um when you find perseverance right when you didn't think you had any more to give right you're in that energy right now that's the that's what you're moving through um funny i'll leave it like that um you're moving through it quite quickly with the eight of wands um let's do three we have the moon so you don't know what's next for you but you know that you want out you want to be free of whatever's blocking you whatever's holding you back a lot of you this feels like it's financial pinch or um something to do with your your finances, you feel very blocked in that direction, or you feel like you're not being very much supported. Um, but whatever the case is, uh, it does feel like it's that, but whatever the case is for you, I see you moving through this very quickly. Um, this is going to be over before you know it sooner than you think it is but the moon makes it makes me feel like you're not aware of that you can't sense it you don't know that, but you're holding on to that faith. Um, I do recommend um, uh, doing a, a candle prayer or um, <laughs> to help uh, pick you up in those dark moments. I will recommend, um, I did a community post for my uh, morning mantra. That will help you out a lot as well. That one's a big one. Um, this will help you do the dark periods that you're currently in. Know that you are supported. Um, I can feel that. There's so much support there. But you don't feel it right now. You don't know how this ends and you're kind of lost. So let's see what the ancestors want to say to stay. Um, they would help with that or as well. We have deep diver diving into a task here. Mm. One of the things that they keep saying to me is that they've gone through what you've gone through, right? We have horn cactus resourcefulness. Know that they, um, 
they feel your pain, feel your frustration. We have hollow bone teachability with the, um, I, I did want to pull this. Oh, this was the third card. The cosmic and the divine feminine. Okay. You knowing that it's going to work out and how it's going to work out won't make it work out that way. So know that you're kind of being kept hidden from this or it's kind of the, the, the past is behind, kind of being kept hidden from you for a very specific reason. Um, you know that your ancestors have dealt with this, have moved through what you've gone through. It feels like poverty or lack. Um, I do recommend those contracts if you have not done them, but um, they've gone through what you've gone through. They uh, were able to move through that and they did it through faith and they, they did it not knowing, right? So you kind of are in that energy where you know um, there's a solution out there, but you can't really pull it, right? You can't really figure it out. The reason for this is you're not meant to know it right now until it happens. I honestly feel like it's going, they're going to be, your ancestors will be moving you through something. Um, I will leave it like that. It's some of you, I swear, it feels like you're going to be going somewhere at night. That's what it feels like to me when you sleep. I do dreaming with purpose, which is part of the community post I did. But um, with the cosmic womb, the divine feminine, can I get a clarifier on that? You kind of want to be ready for it in a way. Um, but I don't see it. Metatron is not stating that. Um, it, it's honestly, you kind of uh, need to be surrendering a little bit to see it. Or you need to be in the energy of surrender to see that new path. Okay. So let's look at the guidance that Metatron wants to give. Let's see. We have Yang. This is Mario masculine energy. Um, when you feel called to take the actions you feel called to take. And when you don't, don't do it. Um wait and see. Yeah, I would do it like that. It's so it's just, it's funny. Um, we have the why here. This is what I feel you're doing. You're asking why rather than looking for solutions, um, creative solutions or problem solving. I get it, right? Um, you really want to um, dissect that, right? You really want to discern that. But in reality, I don't think that's helping you move out of the energies you're meant to move out of. And you need to do something to change your energy. And this requires a little bit less, um, of the low vibrational, I want to say when we worry, the anxiety, um, and we stress, it feels like that, that, that low vibrations that we choose to embody, less of that, more of I am uh, acting when you're meant to act, surrendering when you're meant to surrender, right? This is, if it's very funny. It, it's you mastering your masculine and feminine energies, knowing what to do, when to do it, uh, is what you're working on. Hmm. Anyway, we have a new life coming out, which I do feel it in uh, no place like home. This is hitting home because I think it's your finances, but we'll leave it like that for you. I want to thank you, Virgo. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're now on Libra. Let's see, 32, 15, 4, Libra. Alrighty. So let's look at Libra. So... Um, Medicine coins to make help ground me again. Let's get a message from Libra's ancestors this day. I am definitely seeing um like your maternal lineage having a very specific pattern. Um a, a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus um, that you're kind of beating. Let's take a look here. So we have the Page of Wands, and it's reverse. This is interesting. It's creativity that's been blown out. Uh, we have the Fool, and it's reverse. So I feel your mom's side is probably is your dad as well. Um, has a habit, though it feels like it's very directly connected to your mother, of not taking leaps towards what is meant for them and what's going to bring them happiness. I know it sounds real crazy that we tend to not want to take leaps towards our happiness or move towards that. That, that makes us inspired, but people make that choice all the time where they don't do it and then they regret it and then they don't, mm, and then they don't, um, they don't make it to their, their happy ending. Your, your lineage, right? From your mom's side, it feels like it's very, very much, there's a pattern there where they constantly take the safe route, the safe um, path, um, the path that has more, has less in it, um, but what they perceive as more risk. When we know that we're being supported by uh, by our universe, when we know that we're being supported by the beings of light, we take leaps all the time and go towards what's meant for us. But when we don't feel that support, we take the easy way out. And I feel like that's what your your mom's side of the family does. Um, they're constantly not taking leaps towards what's meant for them. So they're honestly separating themselves. It's interesting. I definitely see um, the very first message I got for you was that you know that your mom, um, it sounds like they're not together. They're not all there, right? Um, I think you know that, right? That feeling. Um, this is the reason. It's actually one of the reasons, uh, one of the bigger ones as well. Because when we separate ourselves from 
I want to say the light, but not not exactly. When we separate ourselves from our purpose, right? Um, hmm, uh, we're not good inside, right? So let's take a look here. Uh, why is this the message coming from the ancestors? We have sacred contract covenant. I am seeing a need for you to get a healer to break that pattern. That one's a real big one. Um, I know it sounds crazy when I say these things, but um, a lot of times we have stuff from our past life or even our lineage that's haunting us, contracts that we made, things that we shouldn't have signed or things that we shouldn't have put in our life. Um, I see it being linked to your lineage um, in some way. I don't want to say it like that, but sometimes we make deals as well with, with other beings that, uh, that are carried on through lineage. It feels like that. Right, we have me talks. You're paying the mind, body, and spirit. Um, what your ancestors want you to know is that there is an actual contract at play that's holding your, honestly, your family hostage. Right, um, it's time for you to start to release that, detox that, and heal that. With the watchers transpersonal, they are waiting for that. And that's one of the most crucial steps that I've taken in my journey when I healed my lineage of their rage. That was hard, um, was real difficult. But you have, you came here in this life uh, and you picked this exact family for that reason so that you can break this and you're meant to break it. And they're waiting for you to break it and they want to help you break it, which is why this is your message. All right. Um, uh, know that it, it, you probably, I see at least 10 for a lot of you, uh, generations that you have to heal. Um, real big stuff there. Uh, know that that's a big deal. All right. So let's see. Why is this the, why, what guidance do you have for Libra? Um, when it comes to this, a healer will help. Um, I would open up your records as well. You can get a Kasha record reading and do this. Uh, that one's, you can check the description section for that. I don't, I say, I, I know, I'm not offering them anymore. Um, Check the description section for that. Um, uh, you can get Catherine. Uh, she's very good. But you're meant to end it. I can see that. You're meant to break that pattern. You're meant to break that. Um, it's a, it truly feels like a contract made. Um, hmm. uh, a contract that was made. Uh, you're going to want to break that real good. All right. We have Ace of Cups. This is actually, this is reversed here. Um, it's going to open up that cup. It's going to open up that path and that fulfillment. You are not able to access uh, a very specific path. It feels like a purpose to me. But... Um, it has a lot of love in it, has a lot of fulfillment, it has a lot of abundance in it. You're not able to access it because of this, right? We have I'm coming. Um, you're meant to move on in that direction, no, no matter how you how you look at it. Uh, we have I think about you every single day. It's interesting. I feel like this is your ancestors waiting for you to break this, see, uh, you know, uh, remove this from the lineage and heal it. Now, hmm. I was thinking about doing a a guide, uh, sorry, a healing um, with that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it like that for you, Libra. Um, follow your heart when it comes to fixing that. All right. So we're at 37, 15, four, Scorpio. All righty. So let's take a look here. So um, what is a message from Scorpio's ancestors coming in this day? The moon and the moon phases are very important for you. Uh, right now, I don't actually know. We may be still in that new moon Aquarius. I've been using that for my community candle. Um, oh, it's looking real good, by the way. Um, hmm. But the moon, moon phases being very important for you to take a look at. Uh, maybe you're impacted by the moons greatly, or maybe you you know a specific moons for you. I don't know. It's something like that, right? So let's see what the answers want to say to you. And what do the answers want to say to now? We have the five of cups reversed. Interesting. Hmm. We have the ace of swords reversed, and then we have the two of wands with the nine of swords. I feel here um, you're currently in a. You're, you're currently trying to release yourself of something that is like honestly plaguing you. It feels like negative thoughts or negative energies that you can't seem to get rid of. I highly recommend doing a stage clearing. That one gets me there. But it feels like you're trying to rid yourself of all the past pains and hurts that you have not fully released. And you are not having the most success here. Your ancestors want to have a, for one, they want you to bring up the moon again. There's a, there's a, huh. I would say the new moons for starting, the full moon for releasing and completing, but you got to figure it out yourself. I never figured those moons out. I just go by guidance, but I can see the moon being very important for, uh, I don't know if there's a specific moon coming or a specific phase or of the moon that makes releasing easier. You're going to want to take that look, take a look at that. And that's what they want for you. But it's also, they want to be there to help you release what you're having trouble releasing because you're not just holding your own stuff there. You're also holding some of your ancestors and some of what they are. Um, they didn't release or they weren't able to release as well because it gets passed 
on, right? Um, they would love to help you release all this, heal this. When I was doing this cycle, or when I was in the, it took like two months, real, tr real tricky stuff there. But um, I put two hands on my heart, and all of my ancestors channeled energy into my heart to release and heal it. Um, they will do the same for you. I see it really being important. Um, I would do it in bed, but you really have to channel that energy into that heart. But um, can I get a clarifier with the two ones is here? Mm hmm. Um, hmm. you're not going to find your way out of this unless you move through this. So there's no only way is through. Um, don't go drinking. Don't go partying. Um, hmm. don't avoid this. Avoid it. Right. Um, face this. It doesn't take that long. Um, and you won't have to deal all day. Uh, but I remember, oh God, it was, it was crazy. That was some crazy stuff I remember dealing with. Anyway. Um, so why is this a message coming from, uh, Scorpio's ancestors this, this day? Scorpio's ancestors. Let's see. Um, we have repairing the veil forgiveness. Um, one of the things that you are, you feel very connected to them right now. You won't be once you start to heal and release that with the beloved radical acceptance. I definitely see a need for you to accept that you're going to have to move through these things and help heal it, heal it with them. Um, I feel like they, uh, hmm, hmm. I feel like you may be triggered or you may get really triggered really easily. You see what I want to say about that. When you meditate, you should be able to access them and connect with them. I would use the beans of light. I would use your guides to help with that. Um, Archangel Michael steps forward to help you as well. And that's it. Sorry, Archangel Michael steps forward to help you. He says he can assist you with this um, and help you heal your ancestors and the ancestral stuff that's here. Let me see what it is exactly. Mm. Linked. To Libra's reading, I gotta be real honest with you, but it's not the same. These are parts of yourself that you've disowned that you need to connect to and heal. All right, hmm. let's see. Um, the mess, uh, what is the guidance Metatron for uh, Scorpio? What is your guidance for Scorpio? We have the first one, Lion, master this. It's the key one. Um, until like the, it's wrapped up and you heal that, until all that lineage stuff is like away from you, you're not going to feel that balanced. And right now with the fire ant, I can see that you're not feeling that great. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like it's there are certain moments of the day where you're feeling very imbalanced, you're feeling, feeling very negative, or you're feeling very triggered. For me, it was a super trigger. Um, hmm, but real honest, it was really, uh, I mean, I knew it was coming uh, kind of thing, but damn, um, I see something like that for you. Uh, with the line on the board, know that you will master this, and you will also help other people through it as well, okay? I will leave it like that. Um, being generous also helps because you can just tell them to go away, I guess. But I healed it. I knew I had to. I didn't want to be bothered with it. But I can see, um, you know, because it's tiresome because it's, it may take two months. Actually, it did take me about two months. But um, it's worth it, okay? So I'll leave it like that for you. Don't forget to like and comment, Scorpio. And we're going to move on to Sagittarius. Yes. Hmm. Okay, quite quickly. Yeah. Okay, 38 for Sagittarius. Alrighty, so a message from Sagittarius' ancestors this day. A message from Sagittarius' ancestors. Okay, let's take a look here. A message from Sagittarius' ancestors. What does Sagittarius' ancestors want Sagittarius to know? Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius' ancestors want you to know? I definitely see a need for you to connect to Jupiter. It's reminding me of my um, the healing triangle that I had, and I would uh, draw on Jupiter. It's energy to heal people with it. Um, it reminds me of that in some way, shape, or form. Um, the message that's coming from your ancestors, they would like you to draw on that energy. You can call on any energy, I guess, and just channel it right through. I would channel it through your heart as the heart is the distilling machine and then channel it into something. So I know it's an odd thing to say. Let's say you're trying to write something or you're trying to like uh, do that. Um, channel that energy from Jupiter into your heart while you're writing, and that will help imbue it with some good power or some good energy. But I don't know what this is referring to. Let's see. Um, a message from Aunt the Ancestors of Sagittarius. We have the Two of Swords here, Judgment. Mm. There's a lot of untapped resources that you're not utilizing, accessing, and um, incorporating into your life. One good example for this, and this is what I was doing for most of my life, is I wasn't bringing in the light or, or my guides, or the beans light, actually. But 
it's like that. You're not utilizing that. You're not bringing that into your life. And therefore, you're not actually benefiting from that. Uh, with the sun on the board, I truly feel like it is light or energy. Um, it feels like Ju Jupiter energy is very, very potent for abundance or... Hmm, um, expansion as well. That one's a good one. Um, uh, but your answers to what you know is that you're not seeing it. You're not drawing on it. You're not using that energy and therefore you're not in the best shape. Let me see where you are. The King of Cups. You're having trouble regulating yourself. Your emotions are in flux. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, there, there it is. All right. So let's see. Why is this the message that you're giving for Sagittarius to stay? see why is this the message for Sagittarius actually I want to use this deck here um and I want to say hi to everyone hi 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 okay so why is this the message for Sagittarius the first card we have is going to be Scorpion um you may want to check out Scorpio's reading I guess to be honest with you but with the Scorpion on the board I feel you've been hurt a lot a lot of times um you're having trouble not lashing out you're having trouble with uh keeping your emotions in check and you're having trouble keeping yourself i want to say regulated in a good way mm -hmm. your ancestors want you to know is that you will find that um that equilibrium you will find that harmony you will find that um honestly you will find even that harvest that was a odd word to come through but you would find that um uh, if you are using everything at your, uh, yeah, every, I want to say every source at your disposal, right? Um, and this includes your family, your friends, your, um, the beans of light. It, it feels like you're just not using, um, help. And it, it, it's funny, they're not bringing themselves up for this. We have the woof here. And then we also have the camel, which is very much linked to that Sagittarius energy. I do feel with the camel on the board that you are, hmm. In a long journey, um, you have all that you need in you. Oh, I see what they're trying to say. I, sorry, it's just, that was an odd one, an odd message. You have more than enough energy inside of you. You have more than enough to get you there, but you can be using other stuff. A really good way, a good example that Medichan just gave um, is, you know how you can, maybe you're not thirsty and you're walking the desert, right? But you see a pond, the water, right? Why not go get some, right? It's like that. Like there are things that you could be using that are around you that you're not using because you feel like you have enough. And I think you, that's true, but they don't want you to use your, um, use all the energy within you to get to where you're going. And they would like for you to start to um, use some of theirs or your beans light or your guides. Um, yeah, sorry. It is that. I'm trying to, I want to make sure I get that right. That feels good to me. We did have the wolf come out as well. This is about discipline. Um, you feel like a leader, right? You feel like you shouldn't rely on anyone. And this makes you unwilling to rely on anyone else. And this includes uh, the support systems that we all have. They would like for you to use some more of those support systems. This includes earth, right? The water and the, the grounding that we have. We have Joyful Muse. And we're pairing the veil of forgiveness coming through. I got to look at the bottom deck. We have first breath, beginner's mind. I am seeing a new cycle for you, a new beginning for you with that sun on the board. But it, it's best if you were to um, open yourself up more to receiving support, um, to make your way to the next cycle, make your way to the next path, and make your way to your next destination, okay? And that's what your ancestors want for you because they didn't get there by one thing right um they got there by multiple things and it takes a lot of energy for us to be to be alive to stay right it's it just does um and it's not just from sources the beans light help us as well stay alive and it feels like that's what they want for you to have access to more um um use more um uh, instead of just drawing on yourself or drawing on the uh, the <laughs> i feel like on your source stream which exists on our 12th chakra all right i'll leave it like that i feel like i got it but it's a tricky message for you sagittarius um you will know that if it's yours all right i thank you don't forget to like and comment and we're not on capricorn okay so let's take a look here um capricorn's uh Message from Capricorn's ancestors to stay. What is a message from Capricorn's ancestors? Let's take a look here. A message from Capricorn's ancestors. What does Capricorn's ancestors want Capricorn's uh, Capricorn to hear? Let's see one more time. Uh, Capricorn, someone writing in Venus, please. Thank you. 
So the Ten of Wands coming through here. I feel, Capricorn, you have had situations in your past that you've tried really hard to succeed in, right? We have the death coming out with the Ace of Swords. You did not have success here. You did not have um, completion. You did not get what you res what you desired what, um, uh, with the results, right? Uh, you, in fact, you've probably got anything but that. And you're sitting here in life, right, uh, trying to decide what you should do. This failure or what you perceive as a failure um, is holding you back in more ways than you can count. And I know that it sounds crazy, um, unhealed stuff is impacting our fulfillment or impacting us making the right choice. But it obviously always does because I feel like you're having this moment where you want to choose something different for yourself. You want to transform. You want to move in a new direction. But you're not doing that because of this past uh, th this past memory, right? It feels like it's a scar of some kind um, that that has lasted the test of time, really. Um, you can heal this. You can work on this. Uh, your ancestors ask you to work with your higher self as being the key one for you. That one will really work for you. I can really see that one here. But with the death on the board, you are desiring, craving a change, transformation, even a rebirth, but you're not getting that. And it's because of that past issue. It's because of that unhealed um, scar you have on yourself with the ace of swords here. No path you choose should be determined by how much success you think you'll have. It should be chosen by your heart, right? By what you are inspired by with the nine of wands in its reverse. Uh, with the nine of wands in its reverse, I can see that you are, um, you're thinking about quitting before you begin now. You really want to take a look at that, right? Um, when it comes to quitting before you begin, I can see that. You're thinking about giving up before it even starts. Um, and I know it sounds crazy, but that past situation, the thing that you didn't heal from is the direct issue. Uh, it's, it's a direct link, right? Um, I do recommend a forgiveness contract. I'm going to give that to you, actually. That will help. It's for it's good, really good for money, but I think it will help you with this. I'm going to put the link there right under your thing. All right. Um, that will help as well. So, uh, Metatron, uh, can you help ground and connect me again? Let's see what the answers want to say to Capricorn this day. Let's see. We are ha we have this one. We have Wailing Tree Reconciliations. I am seeing it's linked to your past. It's been a key one for you. Some of you is the person. I will give that a go as well. Write them a letter. They don't have to send it. Um, new cord cutting. I did get that earlier, but it's not, it's not the same. I feel like you truly need to accept what has happened in your past to be able to move forward on your new path. Like it's like you truly have to reconcile it. You truly have to embrace, um, move through that. You have to accept it. it. It's it's like something that you may have pushed in the back of your mind or um, pushed out of your awareness that you need to uh, you need to go uh, go and get it right. Uh, let's see. We have sacred contract covenant. It's karma. Yeah. It, it, there's a karmic link here with the uh, crossing the initiation. You never are going to quite make it to the end of any path unless you heal this. Um, you could have made a promise to yourself that you'll never try something like that again, or you could have swore to yourself that that will never happen to you. And there's something like this that you did that is now holding you in a place that you don't want to be. Um, no, you can't make it to the end unless you undo that. Again, I do recommend um, hmm, your higher self. Archangel Sanapanka will help with this, but I think this is a personal one. Your higher self would be the one I would go with. All right. So let's see. Um, um, what is uh, what the message or what is the guidance from the ancestors? I think this is to do with the love connection with the fox on the board, but you have to figure it out for yourself. We have Buffalo. This is crazy. I have to do say it, though. I have to say it's very important. The harder path isn't the best path. And it's going to sound real crazy to you because it feels like you are basing on, you know, like if you put a certain amount of work, like 40 hours a week into your job and you expect that same paycheck, blah, blah, blah. We've all been there, right? But if you see it, life that way in some ways, right? Where it's just easier to work 40 hours and get that base pay and honestly, just do whatever the hell you want to do for the rest of your day. You can live a life with more meaning and more purpose. Um, I think when you swore off maybe love or when you decided to stay single for a while or something like this with the fox on the board, um, it stalled your purpose because that's where your fulfillment really was. Um, yeah, I'll leave it like that. It, again, the harder path isn't the best path. I'll choose the one that your heart's leading you. And we have the horse here. You desire freedom. You mm -hmm. desire to be... Um, 
you desire to have that uh, maybe work for yourself. Uh, it does feel like that. Or you desire to uh, make your own hours. It's, it's, there is a strong emphasis on that being a very strong desire for you. You can have that. Um, all you need to do is start to follow that path. Follow the path your heart's leading you. What what part of them today? Your heart, yeah. Um, right now your heart's leading you backwards though. No big deal. Just deal with the past. With the woof on the board, you've done it before. You've gotten yourself out of the worst possible situations, and you found you found your head above water. You you found air. Right. Know that you will do it again in a heartbeat. Um, it's, it's easier every time. Um, and it's easier. Um, but, um, it feels like you think you won't be able to get, um, get through that. You won't be able to survive it. You've done it already. You've survived once before you will do it again. Okay. I'm leave like that Capricorn. Don't forget to like, and comment. And we're at 55. Oh, five. Okay. For a craze. Yes. Alrighty, can I get a message from Aquarius' ancestors? Very strong um, Brazilian ties, or Brazil. Brazil comes to my mind. Um, very native energies coming through. Like I see, really strong. Um, I mean, it's 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 pretty potent energy. Let's see. Uh, why is this the message coming from uh, the ancestors? We have raccoon here. Interesting. I do feel um, your ancestors have dealt with in the past people or energies that pretended to be something else, right? They pretended to be what, I don't know. Um, I, I gotta be honest with you. It kind of feels like a low vibrational entity that pretends to be a family member that convinces you of something or, um, yeah, honestly, like even, uh, huh, even like a neutral being or like, I will say it like a demon or something like that, that pretended to be something. I feel like you have had, um, your ancestors see that you may be having an encounter or they, ha it feels like they are saying they had it, um, in their past. Um, hmm, they've gained a lot of wisdom from this experience. It does feel like they were tricked or it, it, there was an attempt to trick your ancestors with the cheetah here. Um, hmm. One of the things that your ancestors want you to say is that with this sense, you will see things to be true. Some of you, this could literally just be a person in your life that wears a mask or people in your life, but it felt very much, tied to energy and tied to um, the ethereal and not so much the physical, but it can apply there, I guess. But it feels like very much um, something in the ethereal that had tricked your ancestors into believing that they were good or that they were, um, hmm, that, huh, that they were, I want to say a family member or something like that. With the owl on the board, they gained a lot of wisdom from that experience, but it wasn't until after the fact. So let's take a look here. What does this mean when it comes to Aquarius's energy? Aquarius is um, someone rising Venus. Let's see. First card is going to be Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Um, hmm. We have the hangman here as well and the Page of Pentacles. One of the things that they are seeing here is that this could be a contract or covenant i keep getting this one it's because it keeps popping up but it could be a contract or some kind of karma from your past from your lineage itself that is actually impacting your life today it in fact it's created a stuckness um it the stuckness or the stillness that you're in you're enduring it's a little bit um hmm it's triggering. It hurts a lot, but you, what your answers want you to know is that you will make it through this period. You will make it through this time. Um, relatively unscathed with the Hierophant on the board. I do feel like it is very much linked to this energy. So something dark that is in the ethereal that somehow your fear, I don't know, your ancestors signed something or it, it feels like that. Um, how do you recommend that they heal it or that they move through that? You need distance from it because it, it feels like it hit you. Um, I will give me as an example because I actually love giving me an example. But I remember having a, a low vibration entity um, attached to me since I was a baby. Now, bro. I mean, it was just there. It was on my hips, actually. And I can see that you... I can see that you were hit by um, uh, hit by something similar, something that came at you from your family or something that comes from a past life, ancestors, whatever this is, it hit you, it got you, you've seen it, they've been helping you through that. They would like, I guess, for you to call on them a little bit more, but know that you will make it through just fine. The cheetah here, it it's really does... It gave me a message like maybe you move through it too fast. It honestly gave me a message like you're not moving through it fast enough. So I'm going to leave it like that. I think it's the second one, the latter. All right. So why is this? Uh, what is the guidance that you want to give uh, for Aquarius when it comes to this? 
You may want to get a healer. Uh huh. I don't. Akasha Karma clearing stands out to me, but I would use, or I would call on um Hather. Hather is the one I would use for this one. Uh, she's the, one of the best ones for this. So let's see. Um, why? Why? What guidance do you have? Root growth is its own self. Um, an ancestor removed a part of themselves or cut out a part of themselves um, in order for them to be. I want to say what they thought they wanted to be, and that piece, that piece that they they cut. I think grew. Uh -huh. Um, that piece that they cut, I, I, it's what they, I don't know, they bargain with. I know it's a crazy thing to say, but it feels like that just for a moment. It's not going to be for everyone, but we also have the corn cactus resourcefulness with the galactic mushroom, the divine matrix. I am seeing here, um, you have more resources than you, uh, than you should be, than you are accessing. They would like to help your ancestors. I would also look at one of the things that I do. Um, it's kind of like I just I just go through it, but I go on Etsy and I see what's what what I what stands out to me and what I should buy. Um, I would try that as well. This is this is really help you. They are guiding you when, it, <laughs> even though it may not um, seem that way. All right, we have the Galactic Mushroom Divine Matrix, and it came out with the Netcasters. I am seeing. Um, Sorry, I want to make sure I got that right. What is what is the matrix here? Mm. I feel like you are being um, guided right now to take the steps when they're meant to be taken. Um, so I feel like you may be getting a lot of inspiration or you may be feeling a lot of um, like soul callings. Take those steps when you feel called to and... That's it, right? Um, lay in wait. This will pass, whatever this is. I see you making your way through it very fast. Um, some of you, it could be to do with a place you moved into, but it strongly, strongly feels like it's from your lineage. Um, all right? So I'm going to leave it like that for you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and comment. And we're at Pisces now. 30, please. Four Pisces. There you go. So... Um, Metatron, uh, coin change me, help ground me again. And let's take a look here and let's get a message from Pisces' ancestors. So what does Pisces' ancestors want to say to Pisces this day? Um, someone writing in Venus. Let's see here. Let's see what we have for you, Pisces. Alrighty. Someone writing Venus for Pisces. What is the message from the ancestors? We have sea serpent. This is the sacral chakra. It does feel right now, um, Pisces, that you are having trouble with inspiration or you're having trouble sustaining it, I do recommend the sacral uh, chakra stone. A uh, red carnelian does stand out to me, but this uh, sea serpent's all about cleansing it, right? Um, we have the butterfly coming through as well. Hmm. It's an interesting energy to come through. I do feel with the sea serpent here, You are in the middle of a transformation. You're in the middle of uh, of shedding, right? Uh, cleansing yourself. You're having a hard time, though, making your way to the end or even making it a priority, right? It's like it's very clear. Like you just, you know, you need to do it. It's it feels like it's work, though, or it feels it feels like when I'm listening to my guided meditations, ah, oh, it, it's just it's not great, and um, it's like that. That's the feeling I have, where it's like I know I need to listen to them. I know they're helping me. Um, but do I want to do it? No, right? So you have this, you're going through this transformation. You know it's for your, the best. You know that you need to do it. You know it's going to better your life. But you're having a really difficult time sustaining that motivation, sustaining that. Some of it's courage um, or facing things. You're having trouble with that. Um, your ancestors want you to know. It comes from them a little bit with the beaver on the board, right? Um, it's hard to start something for you, right? It's hard to start. That's the problem. But you always finish it. Um a really good thing that I do is I just do it, right? Um, I just I just literally just go and do it, and <laughs> I don't complain. Um, it, it's not that I see you complaining, but your ancestors want you to know that um, it, it kind of comes from them, that lack of motivation, but they see it being worthwhile, and that's actually what they want to give to you for your message. They see it absolutely worthwhile. You're going to be – um, hmm. It's interesting. I see you working at your solar plexus next, by the way, but uh, I can see with the beaver on the board – 
you're having trouble uh, getting started, right? So if the uh, sun is reverse, you don't see what you're missing out on to so remind yourself what you're missing out on. So I would recommend a Merkaba activation that does uh, that does really stand out to me um, because one of the best things that I've done when it comes to picking myself up is honestly um, uh, looking at my future, right? And looking at those parts of our future that are written to help get me there or to help pick my spirits up. Uh, it was one of the best things when I was uh, in a duller cycle or a cycle I was having trouble with. It feels like you're in that one, um, but you're losing that motivation, that faith. Um, your ancestors want you to know is that you are, you need to remind yourself why you're doing it and you're doing it for you. And if you have, huh, if you, if you, if you have your miracle back, you could definitely can time travel. But uh, with the Empress on the board and the 10 of cups, I am seeing, Hmm. I need for you to break some of your ancestral patterns that you have, um, some of the uh, your traditions, customs, and belief systems, removing those things. I feel like you have a negative one or one that's very much filled with, uh, why should I bother, right? It, that, it, it demotivates you, right? You're going to want to start to heal, remove that. Um, if you have not, uh, I would recommend uh, the Akasha Karma Clearing. That will help a lot for this because you need a core belief update as well. But your ancestors want you to know, Pisces, um, that there is a better future for you. You just don't see it yet. You can't really. It would be too much. Um, I remember when I first was thinking about that. You know, Why don't I know enough about my future? And, of course, they chimed in. And they said, um, it takes away from the free will. Right. Um, and I feel like you, right. Um, if they told you that that is the happiest, you'll end up there. And it's not, it's not necessarily you deciding that it's them giving you that. So know that you not knowing is part of, huh, it's, it's, it's part of that free will and you're going to be making those choices. I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just trying to make sure it's good. Yeah. It feels good to me. Uh, we have the Buffalo on the board as your guidance. Uh -huh. The Buffalo is about not being scared around every corner. I can see that. I think it's fear that makes you, um, stall fear that makes you uh, stay put. And you really do need to embody some of that courage and remind yourself that it's no big deal. Um, yeah. Uh, it's interesting. I see you moving through this cycle really fast um, and moving through it really quickly. And you will do this by reminding yourself why you're doing it. And it's for you, um, your future, your happiness. All right. So I'm going to leave it like that for you, Pisces. Don't forget to like and comment. And I want to give like a big thank you to everyone that's here. I do appreciate all of you. And don't forget to uh, check out my services. All right. And bye, everyone.